Morning everybody, day three of FireX here at London XL. So a quick quiz for you, when is a fire engine not a fire engine? Well, when it's a bar, apparently, according to the FIA. So we're on the final day, uh, we're going to be talking to some of our members on how they found the show, uh, what benefits they've got from it, and uh, clearly uh, we'll be letting you know all about that. But of course, when you'll be watching this, we will be heading home in the ASFP bus. So uh, for those of you who visited, uh, I hope you found it useful. For those of you who have exhibited, thank Thanks for uh, supporting the ASFP and uh, we will see you at the next one. We're here with Joanna from Nullifier ASFP members and we're continuing the question of how has the show been over the last two days because we've still got day three to go. Hello Joanna. Hi, you alright? I'm very well, thank you. Yes, we're, Max and I are working very hard uh, to talk to people like you. So, um, how do you think the show has been for you? Has, has the footfall been good? Has the engagement been good? Yeah, really good. I came here yesterday, so I only done yesterday and this morning. It's been a bit of a slower start today, but yesterday was busy. We saw a lot of customers that you know we're dealing with anyway. Um, got to meet them. Some of them we haven't met over COVID and lockdown, so it was nice to see some familiar faces. And alongside some other people that have been asking us some really good questions actually about, you know, some of the new products that we've got, um, innovation that we do. So, yeah, good. And, and as ASFP members uh, talk to me, believe it or not, is a member benefit. I know, it might not, no, I know it might not seem like it at the moment. So you, you say you've got some new products or some new services. Do you want to t quickly tell me about those? Um, well, we've been talking about the Optifier. Um, we've got sort of an example of it over there where we're doing... Um, basically traceability for some of our products make sure that people get in what they're asking for in the product so we've got a pigment pigmentation that's in the intermessent paint itself on to the next uh, interview so we've, we, we're here at the effectors stand and w one of the um, one of the things we're seeing here at, at firex is there is there's a strong representation of uh, certifiers and laboratories um, effectors are slightly different because uh, effectors cover um, geographically uh, a very large area of Europe and the world uh, but they're here and, and they're also SFP members and I'm with Jerome uh, Jerome how's it gone quite fine for, for now yeah very interesting uh, show very crowded yesterday yeah. a little quiet today but uh, I hope it will be fine and, and if you had, uh, I mean, the UK has obviously had the, the new Fire Safety yeah. Act, you know, post Grenfell disaster, which was terrible for this country, and I think it, you know, it opened people's eyes to, you know, a lot of things that need improving. What, what's has there been a sort of has there been a has there been a strong topics of conversation, or has, has it been more general? Yeah, very general, but we have very focused on the facade, uh, on uh, what I can uh, so as you said, because of uh, of the Grenfell uh, disaster. Um, Facade is yeah a very big, uh, very big topic. Doors also, a uh, lot of uh, doors manufacturer who came here. So as I alluded to in, in the opening of this, this little piece, we're on day three of FireX. So we're going to be talking to some of the members of the ASFP about how they've been getting on and, and, and what their sort of general uh, synopsis has been of the last couple of days. And I'm joined by John, the CEO of Checkmate Fire, ASFP members uh, and great supporters of the ASFP. John, how's it been going? It's been going really well. I think uh, we're in a great position, uh, obviously next door to yourselves, which attracts quite a few people. And uh, it's been a really busy three days. Obviously, this is day three. Um, this is my first day here, but the rest of the team have said it's just been a, such a great event. Um, lots of lots of uh, turnover, people turning up, uh, chatting about all sorts of things in the industry that um, you only get when you get the chance to talk face to face, and you can have that more intimate sort of conversation. And uh, we've been sort of taking notes and hopefully sort of shaping some of our propositions from that. It's always good to have a finger on the pulse and know what's happening. Steve Davis, our CEO, is currently attending and participating in a panel session here at FireX, leading from the front for the ASFP. Qualifier's got comfy chairs. And sitting on the comfy chair with me is Craig Wells. Craig, how's the show been for you? Yeah, it's been good, thanks. Um, it's good to be back in London, in the big smoke, as they say. Um, so yeah, we've been engaging with some uh, old and new contacts alike. So yeah, it's been good, very good. One of the questions that I was asking some of the other members we've been talking to was the split between existing business and, and new business. And predominantly they said, 
a lot, a lot of our regular customers have come to see us. However, it's a good thing because they've not actually seen them in the flesh for, for a couple of years. Because of course we're in London, Birmingham's 120 miles that way. Um, and you tend to get a bit of a split between people who can travel to London and people who can travel to Birmingham. Um, what, what's it been for you? Have you been catching up with existing members or, or uh, oh, I'll start again, one, two, three. What's it been for you? Have you been catching up with uh, existing customers or is it, uh, have you had a sort of predominance of new business potential coming over your stand? Yeah, well, uh, all a bit of a whir at the moment, so I guess we need to go away and actually look at that statistically. But um, yeah, it's been a pretty even split, I would think. So yeah, it's been good to see those existing contacts. But I think we have had quite a good mix of uh, people that are perhaps looking to get into uh, passive, um, perhaps been involved in the, the fire alarm business traditionally, and now looking to add to their portfolio. Um, so yeah, it's been a pretty good mix, I would suggest more important than the guy sort of doing the work and the guy managing the work actually making sure that we've got the right skills the right training and it's all about competency uh, we, we know that um, if something is, does go wrong and it does occasionally go wrong and it's a disaster for the industry um, but knowing that you've got competent people trained um, is, is a real comfort to us to our clients as well as ourselves and as you know every member of our organization does SFP level one um, it's something I started uh, 12 months ago because I think everybody in our business should have some idea about what we do and why. So that's it, the end of day three at Firex for 2022. Um, it's been an interesting three days. Uh, we've had different members exhibit here uh, than we've been at for the last couple of trade shows. I think pri primarily, I think, because we're in London as opposed to Birmingham. Um, for the ASFP, our next event is our regatta. If you want to get involved with the regatta, go onto the ASFP website, book an book a, uh, individual place or book a boat. We'd love to see you down in Port Solent on the south coast. Um, uh, we're hoping it's going to be a really, uh, really exciting and engaging event. It's a first for us. Uh, hopefully, uh, it won't be the last. After that, we've got council elections. So if you're an employee of a member company or the owner of a member company and you want to get more involved with what the ASFP does, the pinnacle of that involvement is our council. Um, so the AGM will follow. We have a little bit of a quiet time uh, in the summer while we all take a, a well-deserved break. And then we're back in September. We're hoping to do an Aviva event. So for those of you who are uh, uh, slightly longer in the tooth in terms of membership, you will remember the events we did at the Aviva building in London. Well, the Aviva building is now open again. So we're, uh, they've kindly allowed us to use their uh, amphitheatre uh, facilities. After that, we've got, the, uh, we've got London Build uh, at Olympia which the ASFP and quite a few of our members will be at again. And then we will have the ASFP Awards. And that's going to be in Birmingham. Last year, in 2021, it was Manchester. For 2022, we're in the Midlands. We're in Birmingham, my home city. So not far for me to travel. Well, actually it is, because I don't live in Birmingham anymore. Um, so, and after that, um, it was pretty much a run up to the end of the year. So that's sort of what we're looking like in terms of events. If you're an ASFP member or an employee of an ASFP member, please engage with the new website, put your profile on there, register yourself as an employee of a member company, uh, put your profile on there, you can put all sorts of stuff on there, your pictures and anything else, and including any courses that you've passed, whether ASFP or otherwise. Um, the more you put into that CRM uh, and your profile on the website, the, but the more you will get out of it. So all it's got uh, for me to do is to say thank you for all watching, thank you for all of the people that took part in our filming for the last three days. Um, thanks to the rest of the ASFP team for supporting our rather sizable pavilion here. Um, and most of all, because uh, and you don't generally see him, uh, is, is my oppo, Max, uh, who does all the running around and holding the camera and putting up with my um, tantrums uh, and various other things. And, and um, when it takes me seven or eight times to do it, he stays cooler than I do. So thank you, Max. Uh, you, you are you are that stabilising, and when I mean stabilising, I'm not talking about your camera rig. Um, you're that stabilising force uh, when you're having to deal with me. So um, thanks for everybody. That's Firex 2022. We will see you all very soon on ASFP TV. 